Hi, I'm Stacy from Montana Used Bricks, and today I have a Lego haul that I'm very excited about. There's always those eBay wins that you get that you just cannot wait until you get the box, and this is one of them. It's a little box, it's only this big. <laughs> it is two pounds of minifig parts and minifig accessories. And I paid a lot more for this than I normally would any other eBay auction just because it looked like it would be so much fun to go through. And I did win it and we are going to open it and see what all is in it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open the box. And as you can see, there is a lot of just little tiny parts in there. And we'll just take a few of them out to give you an idea what's in there. This one I was very excited about. This is a barding for a horse, and I already looked this one up, and if I'm correct, this sells for about $25 to $30 if it's in good shape, and this looks like it's in excellent shape. A couple of the other items that I've already looked up were the top of the coffin and the coffin itself. And I thought this was black, but this is actually dark blue. Also seems in really good shape. And both of those were over a dollar each. A couple of Star Wars minifigures. C-3PO and a Stormtrooper. Again, everything looks like it's in really good condition. My husband will have to verify these. But this kind of gives you an idea of what all is in there. There's containers, legs, hats, a bunch of weapons. But everything, oh, one piece of garbage. <laughs> but all these parts will need to be gone through and we'll need to check them to make sure they're in good shape. But so far, I'm impressed with what's in there. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure that'll come with, at a pretty good price. A white snake. Hopefully I'm getting these in camera. I have it at a different angle than I usually use. A flag, another stormtrooper, but this one looks like, yeah, this one was part of a keychain. It's just missing the keychain part of it. Another mini fig. It's missing his hands, but we have plenty of hands. Oh, this one, unfortunately, has been colored on, so that one will have to go in the junk box. The other thing I noticed is there's quite a few shields in this lot. Not sure if that's Lego, but it looks like it might be. There's just little things in here too. There's road signs, there's taps, different minifigure accessories, 
animals. Food, <laughs> food. So there are all types of things in here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pick out five or six things. I'm gonna take it over to my computer and see how much I can put into brick store with just four or five items to see if this really it was worth it or if I just really overspent because I was so excited to have so many little minifig parts. My husband and I spent just a very short time to do a quick sort. We still have all of this to go through. There's probably a pound to a pound and a half still to go through, but we just made three really quick sorts. This is minifigure accessories, minifigure body parts, and everything else. And then we did pull out some parts and I will show you those right now. My husband and I pulled out selected parts to see what the cost would be just for these few parts here. There's some animals, the coffins I talked about, the barding, the cloth flag, hats, some modified heads, just a whole bunch of little things that we pulled out just to see what the cost would be. And the cost just on these few parts we have in here is $95. That barding was the most expensive item, which was $28. And then you can see we kind of go down from there. And that is just these few parts. So with the other parts that we have over there, I'm definitely going to be making my money back on this eBay auction. And I'm so glad that I decided to take the plunge and spend a little bit more because it was definitely worth it. I spent a bit more time last night, this morning, and this afternoon sorting through the eBay win. And I put a few more parts in. We have 91 parts in 69 lots for $178. I've definitely made my money back on the eBay box that I won, but like my husband says, I've only made my money back as long as all of these parts sell. <laughs> and I think I mentioned it in one of my other videos that my husband found a white one of these and we just got another one and they're selling for $29. And then I found another plume that was $15 and a gold visor that's selling for $12. So all of those start to add up really quick and then there's just a bunch of other parts that were worth a dollar or more that we were able to find and put into brick store. I'm gonna keep working on getting those parts in just to see what all I have there. Like I said, I did get them sorted we have all of the minifig body parts and hats and hair in here, miscellaneous Lego parts in here, minifigure accessories, weapons, some of the body parts for the skeletons, just different minifigure things here. And I did a really quick sort to sort out some other parts. So these are plumes, cups and goblets, swords and knives, all the different variations of the guns tools, visors, food, animal body parts, bars, taps, animals, and some vehicle steering wheels. The thing that we did come across is these two full minifigures. My husband got to looking at them and they are incredible replicas. This one right here, there is a Lego version of this, but my husband looked at it and he said it was just a little bit different. If I can find a picture, I will put it up next to it because he said it was just enough of a difference and there wasn't any Lego trademarks on this at all, not on the torso or the legs. So he said it's just a really good replica. The other one was this Catwoman one and that's the same way. He said it is in Lego, but the color's a little bit off on the head and there's none of the Lego trademarks. This was another one we found, and I'm not sure if it's just a really bad picture 
or if this is a knockoff but there was just enough of a difference in some of these little details that we're not sure if this is an original Lego because there isn't the Lego stamp on it anywhere, no part number or anything like that. But it looks a lot like the one in BrickLink. But like I said, there's just enough detail difference in the things around the mouth that we're not comfortable putting it into our inventory. And of course you have the usual pile of not Lego stuff and the little pile of things that we noticed right away were broken, written on, that sort of thing. Day three of my eBay win and I am still sorting parts. I have all of this sorted out. I just need to get it into inventory, obviously. The this is what I have left to sort out. These are just the regular Lego parts and then this is some more of the minifig parts. And underneath on this one I have the swords and a couple of the guns that I missed doing last night. The nice thing is I uploaded probably about 200 parts out of this eBay win and I've already sold at least one of the parts because that horse barding hopefully I'm saying that right, sold within like three hours of me uploading it to BrickLink. So that was really nice. So once I am done working today, I am going to work on a couple of orders, but then I'm going to come right back and work on some more of this. 12, and I finally have all of those eBay items in inventory. Well, most of them. My husband's still working on the minifigure body parts and just the miscellaneous regular Lego parts like slopes, bricks, plates, those sort of things I didn't put in. But as you can see, I had over 2,200 parts and almost $450 worth of inventory. And that's not including the minifigure body parts. So that was definitely worth it and I will probably taking a few more risks in the future because this one really paid off.